So I'm going to show you what I consider to be the most important mollies to learn for CS2 Mirage, starting with the under balcony molly from Palace. So generally what I'll do is I'll go to this pillar right here, look down at the little crack, make sure I'm lined up with it. And then at the very top left of this angle here in the wall, I'll just run and release right as I cross this pillar right here. So just like this, I'll show you and I release and boom, every single time that's going to drop down and molly off everyone under balk. So you can also throw this as you're walking out a main. You just aim at the top left of this little sign here and boom, it's gonna achieve the exact same thing. You're just way more exposed, so it's a lot better to get your palace player to throw this for you. So if you ever want to molly off sandwich, you just come to the corner right here and just simply left click a molly at the dark spot right along the edge of the wall. And what that's gonna do is just drop down right here on good old bot Clarence and absolutely annihilate him from this position. So if for some reason you don't have jungle smoked off, you can get into this corner, look at the left of this little antenna here, and do a simple run throw. It's going to end up landing right along the back wall here, mauling off this common off angle as well as the cubby here that a lot of people like to tuck into. So now let's take a look at this from the CT perspective. So if you get stuck into this corner right here, there's quite a bit you can throw. So just from the right of this little plank, if you do a simple left click throw, it's going to drop right here and will molly off this corner and this corner as well as all this position here just in front of Tetris. So any of those common angles will get mollied off. From that same spot, you can also go to this little dark kind of stain on the wall here, anywhere in that, it's super forgiving. Throw a left click and boom, that's gonna molly off good old fashioned Tetris and anyone standing here, like our good old bot friend is gonna get absolutely burned out of this position. One other nice thing to know, little HE tip, if you just go right here at the little top point of the shadow and just do a left click throw, that's gonna hit and do insane damage to anyone standing on Tetris. So the best molly to stop the rush, as you're coming around this corner, you just want to do a running, just left click throw right at these two windows here. So I'll kind of show you the pathing here. This is what Nico generally does for G2. So as you're coming around the corner here, you just want to go around. Once you're able to see these windows, just do a simple running throw and boom, it'll land right there and even block vision as you cross to connector. So if you ever have information that maybe there's a terrace that's made it all the way up into connector, maybe they're tucked into one of these two corners, you know, you can always just simply throw a molly like this by just running, but you're exposed to palace, you end up being exposed to a main, and they could peek cat. There's just way too many angles. It's just a risky molly to throw. So if you're ever back here, you can get tucked into this corner right here and find this top strap here of this box. You can just count one, two, three little dark notches over and just do a simple jump throw right at that one and as you can see here, it'll immediately spread over into this corner and eventually it'll spread over and catch both of these corners here, completely obliterating the connector players. So if you're ever in a retake from this exact same position, you can just left click right at the tip of this palm tree and that's going to molly off sandbag because a lot of T's like to sit here post plant. It's a very easy way to clear that angle. And you know, that's one less angle you have to worry about as you're coming through and clearing sight. And finally, if you get stuck into this corner under Palace, you can just find this little dark spot on the wood and just do a simple W, just walking throw. That'll molly off all the way to this back corner to where anyone standing back here has to push out and expose themselves to either stairs or jungle. So yeah, I hope you found all of these mollies useful and I hope that it gets you a few extra round wins on CS2 Mirage.